And welcome back to Sunday Square Off and our exclusive conversation with the chairwoman of the Arizona Republican Party, Kelly Ward, and the chairwoman of the Arizona Democratic Party, Felicia Rodellini. Arizona's two U.S. senators are facing challenges here at home. Republican Martha McSally is being primaried. Democrat Kirsten Sinema dodged a censure vote by her own party. Felicia Rodellini, Senator Cinema dodged that vote at the state party meeting last weekend. It was postponed till January. The Progressive Caucus argues that Cinema <coughs> isn't tough enough on President Trump. Cinema Kirsten Cinema barely identi identif identified herself as a Democrat in 2018 when she ran. Do you want to see her get tougher on the president and stand out more as a Democrat? I think she has a high approval rating because she's doing exactly what she said she was going to do when she ran for office in 2018. She's representing the entire state and all of the constituency of that state. The progressives, they've brought us social security, marriage equality, they have a different viewpoint and quite frankly, I'm of the belief that if everybody's thinking the same, then somebody's not thinking and I don't want to be a part of that party. So what we have in the Democratic Party is a diversity of person and a diversity of perception and, and interest and that's business as usual. So you're okay if Senator Sinema runs as an, as an independent, behaves as, as an independent and almost divorces herself from the party whose label is attached to her? Look, any entrepreneur, any businessman and woman will tell you that there's problems to be solved. They want a wide variety of perceptions and, and ideas in the, in the room, around the table to come up with the best solution. Kirsten Cinema approaches problems and situations that way. Democrat candidates are approaching problems and the situations that way. And I am so they all, is it all Democrats are, is that, I mean, is this the way to win for a Democrat now to be independent and try to separate yourself from the party label? I don't agree with you that that's what she's doing. Arizonans as a whole, regardless of party affiliation, are independent and they're voting for the person who's going to make sure they're pursuing the values that are important. And the values that are important to all of Arizona are the ones that she's fighting for as well. I don't have to defend Kirsten Sinema because she can uh, answer to the progressives, but the progressives are an important part of our party and this is business as usual. Could they be a problem for your party in 2020 by driving a wedge? I guarantee you, our party will be undivided in making sure that we elect Democrats up and down the ballot. Do you see that as a soft spot for Democrats? Well, I mean, I think the progressives are not just a problem for the Democrat Party. They're a problem for the United States of America. They are embracing socialist policies. And as you know, President Trump said that this country will never be a socialist nation. I'm working hard. Republicans are working hard to maintain freedom freedom of speech, freedom to protect yourself, freedom of religion. Uh, we don't see that from the progressives on the Democrat side, and we don't see it from really anybody that's on the national stage in the presidential election running to be the Democrat nominee for president. I want to go to your own party's unity. Martha McSally said in a radio interview a few weeks ago that you shouldn't have used the phrase dead in his tracks in a fundraising email attacking Democrat Mark Kelly. I'm sure you remember that well. You went on a different radio show and criticized McSally for talking to, quote, lightweight losers. Actually, is I... That, is that how party chairs should respond to something that her U.S. senator says? Graham, again, you're mischaracterizing what happened. Um, I went on and I... I said I, if I were a Republican, I wouldn't go on a radio sta uh, station that had hosts that were lightweight losers who had a majority, very small audience of majority Democrats who seek to pit Republican against Republican. I stand firmly with Republicans and um, we need to turn things back around to the true political adversary, the Democrats. Wasn't, that a better, wasn't Kelly, there a better way to handle that situation? Uh, yes, Mark Kelly is a gun grabber. Mark Kelly wants to take away um, uh, Arizona okay. and Second Amendment rights. And so and that, and that's, and that's, when, a, that's when, a fine pivot. I want to get yes, back to the question. The question. I mean, wasn't there a better way to handle that with your senator, your your, your own party senator? Just uh, I handled it perfectly, just... uh, perfectly with the senator. And I think that um, Governor Ducey was on that very show this week and he handled it masterfully, which means uh, exposing the Democrats and, and the fake news for what they are and what they try to do, which is drive a wedge between Republicans this Republican Party is more united than ever. Everyone is welcome into our party. We value life. We value freedom. We value religion. We va value diversity. And that's why so many people are not just walking away from the Democrat Party, but running away. Well, I'm not, I don't think there's any evidence. May I, may I have a chance to just respond to that? Just real quick, please. Well, first off, the phraseology was wrong. 
And I believe that I was raised that leaders and leaders of parties, elected officials, should be examples of how to act, how to be respectful to one another. Let's make integrity great again. And the phraseology was not only wrong, but I think Governor Brewer said it best when she told Dr. Ward to clean it up. The rhetoric, the rhetoric we just heard from Dr. Ward is exactly the kind of divisive, dangerous language that no one likes and no voters are. Well, but I, I have but to, Graham, sorry. wait, one, I, we I, have to, I have to the, end it there. I'll get, we'll their go, nominee next segment, has yeah. used that exact same and phrase I in June of 2019, all of that, June of 19. When we come back, what do the parties have against letting more people vote? Stay with us.